Welcome back to Hubby Chase Farm. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. I am back here on the far part of the farm. This is about a half a mile from the barn and from the house, but it's where we keep our pasture raised pigs. Right here is just a group of five I have left for the bats that will be going to the processor here pretty soon. They've been on this little paddock here for a couple of weeks. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and make another move here and move them into some new ground for the next, I think, two weeks or so before they go to the processor. But what I wanted to show you was the impact that these pigs are having and what it's allowing me to do. Right here will be the next paddock area. I'll divide out about two acres here that they're gonna go on. It runs down into a draw way back the bottom of that hill, which is nice, especially this time of year. It keeps them out of the wind. They've got a lot of tree cover here with these cedars that they get under. But the cedars are also a bit of a problem. They've really grown up back here on this part of the farm. So I'm trying to thin them out. And the pigs are really helping me. They obviously aren't going to eat the cedars or knock the cedars down. But what you'll see in a minute is how they clean out around it, allowing me to get in there with a chainsaw. So when I move these pigs, they're way back right over there. I'm probably going to divide down right here in this little draw that goes down the hill and along the back side. I run a single strand of poly wire about 12 to 16 inches off the ground. That's what keeps them in. So it's not, not all that difficult to do. I have to probably clear out some brush to make a way for the fence. Here's my there's my wire, keeps them in. So on this part right here, you can see they've done a lot of ground disturbance here. And in particularly, when you get around the cedar trees, they've done a lot of rooting. Right here's a pretty good example. They've rooted around there. I can get under there pretty easy with a chainsaw and saw that down. And you can see they've done that all the way down this hillside. Once I remove some of these cedars, I will come in here with a tractor. Probably have to grade down a little bit of the wallows where they they burrowed, where they dug down quite a bit, rooting around. And then around March, I'll come back on, on this whole hillside and I will put in some type of cover crop, field peas, something like that, and be able to work my spring and summer pigs back through here later on. Right there's where they are currently. And if you look right here, here was the paddock they were in a few weeks ago. And you see all the cedars I've been able to take out right here. That was about an hour's worth of work just walking across the hillside here with a chainsaw. I can get under them pretty easy. I'll come back with a front end loader and pile them up, probably burn them. You'll notice there's some trees selected that I kept. I even kept some cedars. I need to make sure I have shade and cover when they come back through here later on this year. So you can see how clear it's gotten here and how it'll look. You'll see here, here was another area they've been. I have not cut those cedars. So that is kind of how this looked. And then obviously how that'll look, I'll take those cedars out. <clears throat> really happy with the land, manage land management happening with these pigs. This is really a part of the farm. You can see it behind me, it goes all the way up that I run the cattle through here, but there's not great production. And hopefully running the pigs through here a couple of years, selectively cutting these cedars, putting cover crops, starting to grow grass, I can get this into a very productive part of the farm. The 
one area that does seem to be an issue when you're moving animals this much and you're this far back on the farm is water management. So water is always a bit of a problem for me. I have to haul water in. I'll show you kind of what my water setup is.